Hello everyone, I'm Ben. Welcome back to Tech Block. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of a vlog, I guess, but we're kind of going to be updating my setup, upgrading a few power cables, as well as checking out this absolutely awesome power strip from Meros. Now they sent me this like a month or two ago, and it has been freaking awesome. It's like a smart power strip, and each individual port is like individually controllable through your Amazon Echoes, through your Google Homes, and an app on your phone. It's absolutely awesome. I use this for my monitors. So I've got all three of my monitors plugged into this smart power strip and I can control them individually. So I can do this. Turn off left monitor. And the left okay. one will turn off. Pretty cool, right? And you can also group all three of them as one and you can turn all of them off at once by just saying, turn off monitors. Okay. There we go. And the other two will turn off and you can ask her to turn them back on as well. Turn on monitors. Okay. And they'll all come back on just like that. So it's a pretty cool piece of kit. You can use it for whatever you want. I'm using mine for my monitors and I'm definitely going to pick up a few more from my Ross as they have smart plugs, very, very budget friendly. And speaking of smart plugs and power strips as well, this is also super budget friendly. I think it comes in around £25 on Amazon and I'm almost certain that it's available worldwide. So link is in the description to this. I'll probably be posting a dedicated video all about it as it's a pretty cool piece of tech and I think it definitely it deserves a lot more attention. We'll check out the app in just a moment as well, uh, but I do want to talk about a few other things that I have on the table here. So I do have another Best Tech Power Strip here. Fantastic bit of kit. I unboxed it in one of my unboxing videos like a week or two ago, I think, but I asked them to send me another one as the first one I bought myself. This time, Best Tech have actually hooked us up. They've sent us another power strip. This one's kind of on the pricier side coming in at I think around £36 on Amazon, but it's super high quality. Each individual switch is surge protected. It's a very, very good power strip and it's kind of going to be like the main one that I use for my setup. So if you want to go check out Best Tech, I'll leave a link in the description down below to them. But I've also got some other cables here. I've got a five meter, like 13 amp power cable for my PC. Now this is a white one. I currently have a black one, but we're going to be replacing this with a white one and I'll talk about that in just a moment. Then right here, I've also got another four port surge protected power strip, and then I've also got a little extension right here as well. So we're gonna be using everything here, incorporating it into my setup, and kind of upgrading a few things in terms of how I power everything, and just adding, you know, some higher quality power strips really, making sure that if anything does go wrong, there won't be a problem or anything, you know. So just kind of upgrading my power strip situation in my setup really, as I don't want there to be a fire or anything anytime soon as we are going to be upgrading the PC even more and that's going to draw a lot more power so we got to make sure we don't cause a fire up in this room and there's a lot of devices and you know you don't want a fire so I'm going to go ahead move my bed we're going to get rid of the old cables as the main reason I actually picked up like white cables and stuff is this so if we take a look at my wall right here you can see I've got my ADSL connection for my modem so this is what gives me internet uh, this is connected to a micro filter. If you want to go learn more about my networking setup, press on the card in the top right hand corner there to check that out. But at the moment, these two cables are black and you can really see the contrast there. And especially like, when you enter the room, like you can quite easily see those two power cables there. And what I want to do is kind of eliminate them or make them kind of stealthier as I can't really eliminate them because that would mean I'd have to power everything across the entire room and I don't really want to be doing that. So instead, I'm going to try to make them blend into the wall. I've bought some white power cables and hopefully that's going to solve the problem here, which is not really a big problem. It's kind of a minor change, but I think all the minor things you change in your setup do make a difference in the end. So this is just one minor change that I've been wanting to do for quite a while. And finally, I'm going to go ahead and do it. But one more thing, I'm currently wearing a new piece of tech block merch, but does it have RGB? It's kind of like a little bit of a meme on the channel. And so I've made a t-shirt, you guys requested me to make this t-shirt, so here it is. It looks pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, you can check it out, link in the description down below to the Tech Block merch store. I think it's like £20 on the store, so pick one up yourself. If you do pick one up, send me a picture of you wearing it, I'll give you a shout out and everything. So yeah, let's continue on with the video. Right, I'm going to have to shut everything down as I'm going to unplug everything and re-plug it in. Also, my PC is still having a few problems. I'm not sure if it's because of the new power supply or there might be something wrong with my motherboard but uh, my PC doesn't really start up normally anymore. I have to manually unplug like six or eight USB devices before the PC can boot up again and someone mentioned that uh, I might be overloading the 5 volt rail I guess on my power supply. So yeah, that's probably a reason why. Not too sure if it's the actual power supply's fault 
or if I'm just doing something horribly wrong and plugging in way too many USB devices. But that's kind of a problem as every time I want to boot up my PC, I have to unplug a bunch of USB devices, wait for it to boot up into Windows and then plug them all back in. So, kind of annoying really. <laughs> Right, so over here, I've got two cables, my ADSL connection, everything begins here. I've got a bunch of cable trunking kits. We've got a corner piece here, just to help cable manage. Everything makes sure it all looks very clean and tidy. So I've got cables hidden inside of the wall, kind of, which looks pretty cool. But we're gonna be removing the old power supply. Let's turn everything off. So, right, unplug everything. Grab the old power strip. I've had this power strip since 2015, I think. Uh, so it's been quite a while, it's quite old, it's held up very well, it's, I'm not too sure what company this is from, I think it's called like Duronic or something, it's like a 10 socket power strip, uh, surge protected, it was super cheap though, um, probably shouldn't have bought this and plugged in as many devices as I did into it, but I think it's definitely time for something a lot higher quality. Right, let's unbox the best tech. Power strip, super high quality, kind of expensive. It does come with a bunch of USB ports and stuff. It's very, very good. Right, comes very well packaged as well. The cable itself even comes with like a Velcro cable tie to help you cable manage the, I think, two meter cable that you get with this. And here's the power strip itself. Some of you have maybe already seen it in the past as this is the second one that I own. It does also come with four fast charging USB ports there. These are auto zero to 2.4 amps. So they'll charge your devices very, very fast, thanks to them being fast charging. And then you also have, of course, your six power sockets here as well, on off switches for all of them and stuff. Very high quality. This thing is super heavy as well. Surge protected, you've got like a reset switch back here uh, for the surge protection, I guess. It's like grounded surge protect. Man, this is good. This is a good pizza kit here. Right, let's plug everything back in. That's uh, an extension for some other things. These are the monitors, so they will go in here as well. Uh, when the device turns on, this will happen. So this will light up blue. You can turn each switch on and off, up to you. I've just turned on the monitors there. The Meros smart plug is now flashing away there. Now that's all plugged in. Next up, we've got some LED strips as well as some other things to plug in as well. So this is my RGB LED strip for the bed. That'll go right here. Turn that on as well. There we go, my LED is now lit up, as you can see on camera here. And then I've also got an anchor lightning cable connected to my bed as well, of course. And that's just gonna go into one of the fast charging ports right here. I do also have the underglow for the bed. So what I can do is I can plug that in here, turn that on. So we've got the power strip here, Magic Q Wi-Fi LED strip controller. So there you go, my bed is now flashing away as well. Uh, let's just put the bed back in its place ready and we'll be done. Right, there we go. I think it's all finished now. We didn't end up using this power strip here. I think I'll save it for another time maybe or I'll just have like a spare one lying around in case I ever need like some extra ports for whatever I'm doing. But there we go. It's all done though. Uh, it looks much better in my opinion. Like as you enter the room, you don't really see them stick out as much as there's no contrast now really. Uh, it kind of blends into the wall and in my opinion it's a minor change but it does make a difference towards the overall like look and feel I guess of the setup and taking a look below my desk here there is a little bit of work that needs to be done so taking a look at the cable management here like it's not too bad but in my opinion it's not very organized so that is something I'm going to be working on over the next couple of weeks I've already picked up some new products for cable management I mainly just need to take off a bunch of like leftover adhesive from like my previous attempts at cable managing this using like cable ties and stuff. But at the moment, uh, yeah, it's not looking too bad, but at the same time, we've got like a power strip here that's not really attached to the desk. So yeah, there's definitely some room for improvement here. And I've also moved my controller, I guess, for my headset uh, on top of my subwoofer instead of it being on the desk. And yes, I know my desk is covered in dust. I was away in London yesterday and uh, yeah, the desk is now covered in dust. I'll get rid of all the dust in just a moment. Uh, but yeah, taking a look above my subwoofer, we've got like the Razer 
wireless headset like little hub here and the controller I guess for it. So that's now on top of my subwoofer instead of it being on the table and connected to the actual headset stand. So what I'm gonna probably be doing over the next month or so is picking up the Razer like RGB headset stand to replace this plastic one. So I'll probably be making an unboxing video of that and stuff and incorporating that into the setup pretty soon, hopefully. Right, but now that we've done what we needed to do today, and that's change those power connectors there, let's take a look at the Meros app that comes with the smart power strip. So, let's take a look at it. Oh, and let me just actually, uh, right, do we press in the corner there? There we go. So, here's the app, it's awesome. So, we can control the monitors as a whole, so we can control the entire device, that's called monitors, and we can turn that off. As you can see, all three monitors are off. We can turn it back on. And by the way, this also controls the USB ports as well. So if you want to, any devices plugged into the little USB ports here, for example, like some USB LED strips or anything really, you can control them via this. So you can turn those four USB ports off just like that, super simple, which kind of makes it very unique because there's not many devices out there that allow you to turn off USB ports via like your Amazon Echo, for example, or even an app on your phone. So very, very cool feature here. And then as I mentioned earlier, I guess, switch one, two, and three controls my monitors. So switch two would be the middle one. Switch one, I think would be the left one. And then switch three would be the right one. So simple as that, works super well, very responsive. This works with my Amazon Echo as well. So if we hop on the Amazon Echo app, go on to Smart Home. So right here, we've got left monitor, middle monitor, right monitor, monitors as a whole. We've got studio lights. These are the Meros smart plugs uh, that I have in my setup. They're fantastic. I use them all the time. You can check out my review about the budget smart plugs by pressing the card on the top right hand corner there. But apart from that, pretty cool piece of kit. Fantastic pick. I would highly recommend this product to anyone else that has a multi-monitor setup or just wants a very, very cool power strip that supports Amazon Echo. It's just amazing, really. Definitely gonna be incorporating more of these in my own setup. And by the way, I do plan on moving the Meros smart plug that's kind of like beside my radiator here. And by the way, if anyone's like wondering, the radiator is never on, it, it's disabled, I never use it. Uh, so don't worry about anything being near the radiator as the radiator is never ever turned on. So I just wanted to clear that all up in case anyone's gonna be commenting that down below. But yeah, this power strip is gonna be moving below my desk and I'm gonna be buying like some much shorter monitor cables. I'm gonna be powering everything below my desk. I think that smart power strip is gonna be connected to like an extension cable and that extension cable is gonna be connected to the best tech like six socket power strip. Fantastic bit of kit, very high quality. And then behind my subwoofer, I also have like a free socket power extension there. And then I've got like a one socket power extension here for my Amazon Echo. And that is something I do want to change as well. So I am going to be doing a cable management video. I'm not sure if I'll be doing it this month, but I'll definitely be doing it next month as I do want to just scrape off like all the remaining like adhesive off the bottom of my table and then redo all the cable management. I do want to actually organize it quite well as well, like get all sorts of labels and stuff for each of the cables so I know what cables I'm actually dealing with uh, in case I ever need to actually like unplug anything. Because right now, it's kind of a nightmare. But apart from that, I think I'm going to be ending the video here. Be sure to check out the links in the description down below in case you want to pick up anything that I mentioned today. But yeah, thank you very much for watching as always everyone, and I hope to see you in another one soon. Goodbye.